Listen to me very, very carefully. Inside your tongue lies your future. In fact, the life you are living today is the exact picture you painted with your words yesterday. Hallelujah. Your words are seeds that you sow into the garden of your life. Therefore, what you sow is what you will reap. You can never reap anything different from what you have sown. So love, you will reap love. So corruption, and you will reap corruption. So joy, and you will reap joy. So unforgiveness, and you will reap unforgiveness. Praise Jesus forevermore. So your words are seeds that you sow into the garden of your life. Therefore, be careful of how you use your tongue. Don't speak because you have the ability to speak. Hallelujah. You know, lots of people are suffering in the hands of life, not because societies damned them there. Neither did the devil place them in the realm of bondage. Many are defeated because they don't use their tongue rightly. Many are held under captivity because they don't use their tongue rightly. Many are bound under the arms of sickness because they don't use their tongue rightly. So inside your tongue lies your future. As a result of that, you have to be careful of how you use your tongue. Very, very careful. Hallelujah. Move straight to the book of Matthew chapter 12. Verses 36 to 37. Matthew 12 verses 36 to 37. I want you all to pick it up from the projector. Read it out for me. Let's go. Verses 37. Hallelujah. Have you seen it? Matthew 12, verses 36 to 37. The Bible says, But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Meaning that even though God has given you the ability to speak, don't just speak because you want to talk. Don't just use words anyhow. You have to be careful of what you say. He says every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Verses 37 of Matthew 12. He says, for by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Wow. For by your own words you shall be justified. For by your own words you shall be healed. For by your own words you shall live a glorious life. For by your own words you shall see beauty. The enemy shall be placed under your feet. Then he goes on to say by your own words also. You can place yourself under captivity. You can place yourself under bondage. You can place yourself under sickness. Lift up your hands. Say I refuse to be sick. Say, I refuse to remain stagnant. I refuse to be weak. I refuse to be poor. He says, by your own words, thou shalt be justified. And by your own words, thou shalt be condemned. Hallelujah. Speak the word of God into your life. Speak the word of God into your situations. Speak the word of God into your household. Speak the word of God into your destiny. When you do that, your life shall be glorious. Your life shall be beautiful. In John 1, he says, In the word lieth the life of God. And in that life lieth the light of God. Then he goes on to say, And that light shined and darkness could not comprehend it. It means when I speak the word of God into my sick body, what will happen? The light of God will shine into my body. Come on. And that sickness will depart. If I speak the word of God into my household, 
what will happen? That darkness will leave. And the glory of God shall take over. I release the word of God into your household. Whatever is evil, be bound and be destroyed. Whatever has held your life bound, be broken in Jesus' name. Whatever makes your life to become stagnant, to become that of ugly. Today, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that thing to be broken and be destroyed. Can I hear you loud and say amen? By your own words, you shall be justified. And by your own words, you shall be condemned. Hey, a key to my breakthrough. I write my exams. Everything is telling me that failure, failure. But by my words, I can change the situation to the glory of the Father. Listen to me. God has a pen and an eraser. With his pen, he wrote the Ten Commandments. Are you hearing me? With his pen. With his pen. With his pen. And the blood of Jesus is God's eraser. When I begin to speak the word of God into my life. When I begin to speak the word of God into my relationships. When I begin to speak the word of God into my marriage. When I begin to speak the word of God into my business. He will cancel the handwriting of the enemy. And pick up his own pen and begin to rewrite my story to the glory of his name. So he says by your own words you shall be justified. And by your own words you shall be condemned. It's a matter of choice. You choose which one you want. You either choose to place yourself under condemnation or you choose to liberate your life unto glory. For the complete version of this and other messages of Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kassim of the Initiators of Change Ministries, call the following numbers 0245 412 101 or 050 675 3944 or 0272 822 960. For prayer or further inquiries, please call the following numbers if you are outside Ghana. Plus 233-245-412-101 or plus 233-506-753-944 or plus 233-272-822-960. You can also visit us on the internet by logging on www.initiatorsofchange.org. God richly bless you.